Welcome to T's Multiverse, I'm your host Tyrus, and today we're going to take a look back at San Diego Comic Con 2022 and the things that really caught my eye, the things that made me go, wait, what, really, we going to get that? <laughs> As a whole, man, this Comic Con 2022 really brought it, man, from every angle, every single property brought it, I feel, you know, it's just, we're, we're really in the midst of a golden age of collecting with things that, you know, <laughs> growing up, you never thought you'd see in the way that we're seeing them. You know, we're seeing properties of just various characters, you know, from our favorite cartoons, our favorite, you know, live action movies being brought to life in in absolutely the best way possible. So uh, this is just a fun time. But like I said, this is just key on specific things that really caught my eye. A few things that I was able to pre-order from Comic-Con um, is the uh, Masters of the Universe Origins 2-pack. Really excited for that. I was lucky enough to pre-order that thing. It sold out. <laughs> I actually made a video to showcase uh, the special uh, set with He-Man and Skeletor. And I feel like it's just like the ultimate you know, He-Man and Skeletor set for fans of this line. You know, um, I wish that it would have come with a, a more accessories, more swappable uh, chest plates, more like that Mondo thing, but that would have drove the price up even higher. But I feel as a whole, man, this He-Man alone is just like the ultimate He-Man for me. So really excited for this 40th anniversary set. For anybody that was able to get it, man, congratulations. You know, it, again, it was just, uh, it sold out like <laughs> in no time. It's now... Master of the Universe came out the gate running at Comic-Con, and they never looked back. I mean, they absolutely was firing on all cylinders. You know, they presented that new Eternity to playset that looked pretty cool. You know, they had various figures sprinkled throughout that playset. A lot of Easter eggs, a lot of Master of the Universe origin characters that were showcased throughout that playset as well that I'm really excited for. Ones that I, it's just so many I can even, uh, too many to even like name, uh, but I'm really excited for what the Master of the Universe line is going to be bringing to us. There are so many other Masterverse figures that will showcase as well. I saw that we're going to be getting uh, a Mecha Neck from the Master of the Universe line. We're going to be getting the uh, Manny Faces from the Masterverse line. And I saw that we're going to be getting also a Roboto from the Masterverse line. So th those are just some really exciting things from the Master Universe uh, side of things. I also was able to get a hold of that Doctor Mindbender uh, set from Hasbro, even though I felt like it was really overpriced. <laughs> and I also pre-ordered that uh, retro Spider-Man figure that's based off the Spider-Man animated series from the 90s. So that was really exciting for me. I, that one was a bit of a challenge. You know, I got some help on that one. Uh, definitely check out my video in regards to how I was able to get it. Uh, it's up on the channel now. And I was also able to pre-order the Lizard that's based off the Spider-Man animated series. So uh, those are really two big items for me, especially, you know, with how I, much I love that 90s uh, Spider-Man animated series. So uh, really looking forward to those items. And then to see Galactic on display you know at comic-con that was cool you know to see how large this thing scales you know uh, uh, this Galactus that I'm talking about was a HasLab project from last year and it was actually one of my very first HasLab projects that I went in on uh, along with the Sky Striker. Sky Striker was my very first one and then Galactus was the second one so just to see how large that thing scales man it's at 32 inches you know tall has all lights and the bells and whistles and everything so it's just the ultimate you know marvel legends item i feel to say i'm excited again it's just it just pales in comparison i mean it's like i said again it just goes back to you know getting these things that we never thought we'd see but we're getting them and it's just amazing so just to see that thing in person it's just absolutely just mind-blowing and it's glad this every time i see it i'm going Man, I can't believe I actually, I'm actually getting this thing. It's just a comic book fan's dream come true, man, to get a Galactus figure. I don't even want to call it a figure, a thing like this, man. It's just out of this world. And then also uh, Hasbro uh, showcased their G.I. Joe classified uh, HasLab His Tank, you know, which looked pretty cool. You know, I still haven't gone in on that HasLab project. You know, we'll see how everything works out with all that man but that looks pretty cool uh but next up we wanted to touch base on the amazing spider-mans and friends <laughs> set now man listen i love that cartoon it's near and dear to my heart 
on Saturday mornings to pay homage to like what I did back in the day and, to, and just to be, able, to be able to kick back and relax. I watch that cartoon still to this day. I think it's just so funny and, and cool to sit back and watch those old cartoons, man. Uh, brings back so many fond memories. So the amazing Spider-Man and his friends with, you know, of course, Spider-Man, Iceman and Firestar. And uh, man, it is just so cool to see this pack. You know, I know a lot of collectors are saying, you know, everybody, a lot of people have these figures already. You know, uh, I have the Firestorm, but I don't have this type of uh, Iceman. I like what they did with this Iceman figure. Uh, he looks pretty cool. Uh, Spider-Man, uh, he looks super retro. I like that. You know, now I was, I was lucky enough to get that Spider-Man that's based off the Spider-Man animated series from the 90s. Uh, but if I can get this pack, man, that'll be pretty awesome, man, because I, I love that cartoon, and, and, and it's just it's a true uh, love letter to the fans who love this cartoon as well. I mean, it just, it's exciting to get something like this, and it takes me back to the Incredible Hulk. I hope we'll get a, an Incredible Hulk that's based off that cartoon that they pair with this Amazing Spider-Man and Friends, because that was the exciting thing on Saturday mornings back in the day. You had... This cartoon that would come on, and then following that, it was it was like the Marvel Action Hour with this and the Incredible Hulk cartoon. So hopefully we'll get an Incredible Hulk inspired uh, figure from that uh, animated series that he had. So stay tuned for that. Up next, we have another figure, man, that I'm just like extremely excited to get as well. I mean, all these figures I'm excited for, but I can't believe that we're getting these things. It's just like... Comic-Con 22 just brought so much, and I, I can't believe we're getting this figure right here, and I needed this for my collection. Uh, I'm just a huge fan of this character, and then it's the Black Panther. So we're getting a Black Panther comic-inspired version uh, that's going to be a part of that uh, Wakanda Forever wave. It is available on online outlets such as Big Bad Toy Store, Hasbro Post, Entertainment Earth, but we're actually getting a classic Black Panther with the, you know, great gloves, the great boots, man. He has the, the cape. And uh, we also have that awesome Black Panther um, legacy collection figure that I just got in from the mail as well. But, you know, I am extremely just thrilled about this Black Panther. It's the one that I always wanted. I do have that retro card at one, but this one takes it to a whole nother level. And I've heard that it's on a new uh, body mold and this one's a little taller and everything so uh that's exciting so uh, i look forward to this black panther again this gives me the one that i always wanted all right folks so up next we got another set that i'm extremely excited for but at the same time i wish it was a part of a certain haslab project that we had that i'm backing and that is the heralds of galactus two-pack with terex and the fallen one now last year hasbro had the galactus Haslab project, uh, but I'm excited about that Galactus figure. That was one of the many highlights for me uh, from Comic Con is is that Galactus, seeing how big that thing is, you know. But one of the things I did not like about the Galactus Haslab project is I felt like the last tier was a throwaway. It was like a Doctor Doom's head, and I felt like this right here should have been the last tier. You know, getting a Terex, everybody wanted a Terex figure. And also that one to add in this guy here, the fallen one, the fallen one looks uh, extremely impressive. I, that translucent hair, the color, uh, I like what the, they did with the fallen one. I don't know much about this character, but when I saw this two pack and I was like, man, who, who that is right there? <laughs> I want that guy. I, he's, he looks pretty cool. You know, you have to have a Terex with the Galactus and that whole, you know, cosmic setup, but both figures just look amazing you know terex you know that grimace that he has on his face he seems like he's gonna scale pretty tall i like that again he looks like you just pulled him right out of the animated series or right out of the comic you know i saw him in the avengers animated series you know but i'm i'm just over the moon excited for this two-pack now this set is currently available on hasbro pro so if you're interested uh dive on in all right Next, we have a, yet another one of those figures that I can't believe that we're getting. You know, and I feel like others may have gotten this guy in the past, and that is the Sentry from Marvel Legends. Now, this guy is super powerful. He's like, I want to say he's like Marvel's Superman in a way, but he he has a lot. I mean, a lot. 
this guy has a lot of issues and uh he's super but he's super powerful a very complex character but this guy's a very interesting story i hope we get the sentry in live action but this figure just looks off the charts man i mean he has that bulky imposing presence the hair is what gets me i like how they captured the hair with the sentry that flowing animated hair the white eyes uh the shades underneath those eyes lift that face up i cannot wait to see this figure in person uh, he's gonna hands down be one of my most favorite marvel legends figures uh but they absolutely just nail and i mean they nailed this figure uh, from top to bottom the colors everything so i'm most definitely looking forward to the century i have a figure that i i did a showcase on just recently so definitely check it out and that is the hasbro star wars the black series luke skywalker which is based off the mandalorian series now as a luke skywalker fan i've never gotten a chance to get this luke skywalker i want I always wanted the jedi all in black luke skywalker and now we got that chance of getting them. I know they teased a Luke Skywalker for that, you know, a HasLab Rancor project that didn't go through. But but we're actually getting a new Jedi version of the Luke Skywalker. And this guy looks phenomenal. Uh, again, I had to do a highlight showcase on this, this figure here. Uh, Luke Skywalker, one of my all-time favorite heroes, period. I mean, period, man. I mean, Luke is just... He's the best. And, you know, to seeing him in that Mandalorian series for, for that that sequence when he uh, went to save everyone and, and Groku uh, was just, it was beautiful, man. It, 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 it hit me. It hit me to my heart. And and I, I cannot wait to uh, to get a hold of this figure here uh, again because he represents so much, you know, as a Star Wars fan. Uh, the beauty of the 80s, the, the, the beauty of Star Wars when it was, you know, it was at its best. You know, it's going through a, a, a bit of a tough time right now, but uh, he represents the best of Star Wars, and uh, hopefully they can get back to that. But I'm ex extremely excited about this Luke Skywalker. It seems like he comes with soft goods cloak, which I love. You know, that figure is available on Hasbro Post as well as other online outlets such as Big Bad Toy Store. So again, if you're interested, jump on in and may the force be with you. Next up is NECA Toys. NECA Toys, they brought it, man. They came with it. So NECA just had all types of stuff on display. Uh, one of the things I wanted to key in on, first and foremost, there was a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. I call it the all red set, and it's the turtles wearing the all red bandanas. Now, now this is the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles that I was introduced to before, way before the uh, animated series and the movie. This was the one that was, was presented to me in the black and white comics. And this was more the violent Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. They actually, you know, if they had to, they would kill. Boy, these turtles look phenomenal. I like the detail on the shells to show like the kind of like, battle damage, you know, scrapes that they've endured. You know, uh, you, you can tell by the face scopes that they these turtles mean business. They're not the happy-go-lucky turtles that are just wacky and just silly. These turtles can get down to business, man. So I'm really hard-pressed to, you know, dive in on this one here because I, I have the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles uh, four-pack from NECA, and I also have the Super 7 Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and I, I have the movie Turtles. So it's just like, man, dude, <laughs> I'm trying to talk myself out of diving into this one. But I really do want to dive into this one. So uh, I don't know, man. Because I, I, these are the Turtles that I was introduced to. So my thing right now is to see exactly how much they're going to be charging for this thing. Because <laughs> I don't know, man. We'll, we'll see. You know, price is still to be announced. So, so we'll see what that is going to be. But, man... I love what they bring to the table. So, you know, stay tuned for more on that. And then we have Gargoyles. We had Gargoyles on display. I love that animated series. It The writing is just absolutely on a whole nother level. If you haven't watched Gargoyles, I definitely I recommend that you do their own Disney+. Plus. But the one in particular that I was happy to see was Hudson. You know, that's, the, that's my most favorite Gargoyle. So, you know, uh, it was really cool to see him as well as the rest of them. But Hudson is the one that I'm looking forward to, to getting. You know, I have Goliath. You know, I'm looking to get Bronx Hudson in Demona as well. So those are the ones that I'm really, really, really keying in on. But Hudson, that's my guy, man. I just love old, you know, the veteran, you know, wise warrior Hudson. So really looking forward to his release. And then we have E.T. You know, now E.T. is near and dear to my heart. You know, that just takes me back to my childhood. 
and the, the just the beauty and the wonder of the 80s all the things that we were you know um presented with man all those wonderful movies and, and, and magical movie moments you know et represents that and there's various et sets now that's made available uh via online outlets such as big bad toy store there's two different sets that i'm interested in with this et property from NECA. one has the et with the glow in the dark chest and he comes with all the various accessories uh, that looks so awesome and then we have the two pack with elliot and et on the bike and then it also comes with that beautiful moonlight uh backdrop to where you can reinvent that magical scene with the two racing across the moonlight sky you know so that's another one of those items that really make you just go wow man we're really getting these things uh in today's market and again it just takes you back to those wonderful times you know that et represents so you know those are the two items i'm looking at from that et property and then there's the trailers you know there's the trailers that really stood out to me you know we had first we were presented with the black adam trailer i am so excited for the rock and and seeing him as the black adam and then seeing the justice society of america that's the thing that really stands out to me with this film you know i feel like pierce Brosnan, one of the greatest castings ever as dr fade I'm really looking forward to seeing Hawkman, Adam Smasher, and Cyclone, seeing how they all play into this story. It's just going to be an exciting film. It just This trailer just makes me that much more excited for the Black Adam film. And then seeing the figures, you know, the villains from a figure side of things has me even more excited for this trailer. So I think his name is Sabak. You know, and that's just going to be so awesome to see. So this this film is going to be something I hope, you know, DC needs a win. So uh, hopefully this will this will be that. And then, of course, we had the Black Panther trailer. You know, um, I don't want to go too much into my thoughts on this trailer because I have a whole nother video set for this trailer uh, as among some other things revolving around Black Panther. So stay tuned for that. And one of the other things that really kind of caught my eye was that Tesseract 2 pack with Loki and the role playing Tesseract item. That looks pretty cool. And it lights up, makes all types of sounds. Uh, it comes with the Loki figure as well. So that's something that I may just dive into. So uh, I'm still looking at getting that I Agamotto because uh, Marvel Legends, their role play items are pretty cool, man. So uh, yeah, I have to kind of kind of see what I'm going to do with that. Stay tuned. And one item that I there's no way in the world that I could leave off, and that is a McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse reveal. Now, I actually did a video, you know, breaking the news about this Blue Beetle Booster Gold 2 pack. The same day I broke it, he wound up revealing it later on that day. That one was a huge announcement for me. You know, I was happy to see that it was officially revealed. And man, as a fan of the Blue Beetle, I'm really excited for this two-pack set. Yeah, this was pretty big news for me. And you know, as a whole, man, there were just so many things that was presented at this year's Comic-Con that, you know, as a fan of this genre, someone who's been just following and, and in love with these things ever since I was a little kid, you know, see these things in today's market. It's just absolutely just out of this world to me, you know, um, and to see the level of, you know, tooling and the, the way that they're presented, you know, now it's just absolutely just amazing to me. And, you know, as a fan of this stuff, it's truly symbolic of just the love that we all have for these properties. So, you know, really excited for everything that they presented at Comic-Con. There were just so many things that they had on display there that just speaks to all fans all over the world and i um, really happy that everyone who was able to go to comic con uh was able to to see that in person you know uh even you know watching this stuff from home you know i can feel all the love and the joy and excitement that everyone you know had there one day i will go to comic con i've never been to a comic con folks so you know hopefully one day i will get there uh, but man this is just it's just so exciting so all right, folks, so that's all I have for this episode. Uh, but, folks, as always, I got to give a huge shout-out to all my subscribers. You guys are the best. I appreciate you. Thank you for all your support. Huge shout-out, and thanks to everybody that's tuning in to these videos. It really means a lot to me. You know, I push to give you guys content that, that you can enjoy and, and appreciate. So I appreciate you all, and I thank you. 
And uh, for those of you who haven't subscribed, I'd like to ask that you subscribe. Hit that subscription button. I'd love for you to join Team Multiverse. Folks, be sure to hit that like button. It would really help the channel. Smash that bell notification to all so that you get all my content as it drops. And if you did all that, folks, I appreciate it. And until next time, be good to one another. Be safe. Stay tuned. And I'll talk to y'all later. Bye for now.